Do you think if Terraform would have been business source licensed from the day one in 2014, that it would be where it is today? Or how much do you think would be different? Yeah, I mean, absolutely not. When we pick a technology in its infancy, you are making an investment choice. It's almost like picking a stock. Like when I think personally about how many thousands of hours of my like career I have been invested in Terraform, it's like I made this investment to learn it back in 2014, 2015, and that investment is, has paid off well. Um, and I, I'm, I'm really happy I made that investment. If at the time Terraform had been a business source license, I, I would have said, well, wait a minute, no one's going to use this because everything has to be through HashiCorp. So I, I'm just going to invest elsewhere in other technologies. So, I, and I'm guessing most people would have thought uh, similarly. Mm -hmm. There's actually an interesting parallel. It's not an exact analogy, but HashiCorp released a policy as code language called Sentinel a few years ago. And the technology was quite well done. It was well documented. It was really exciting when it came out, but it was not open source. In fact, it wasn't even usable like or accessible without uh, purchasing like Terraform Cloud or Terraform Enterprise. Uh, somehow you had to pay money to get it. And so it never took off. Then an alternative uh, open policy agent or OPA came on the scene. Uh, I, I don't have a, a personal opinion on the like which technically is better or worse, but it's just a fact that OPA has become the dominant policy as code standard. It's open source. Um, and in fact, even HashiCorp's own Terraform Cloud product has what they call a, a run task, which includes um, support for OPA.